The land has a rich and proud history of African American schools with many great accomplishments. In recognition of Black History Month, we'd like to look back at the evolution of high schools in the DeLand area. The earliest record of a black school is the Beersford School in 1883, located near Lake Beersford. The teacher at the school was J.W. Roper. In 1887, another school opened in a section of the land called Dunn's Bottom. Mr. Cook was the teacher there and it had three rooms. In 1898, a storm destroyed that building and classes were moved to a formerly white school on Amelia Avenue. In 1936, a school was built on the corner of Euclid and Adele Avenues, and it was called the Athens High School. Later, that name was changed to the Bronson School to honor the school's longtime principal, Mr. Bronson. All this time, the school served students in grades 1 through 12. Eventually, the name changed to Euclid High School. One of the highlights of Euclid High School was the football team that went undefeated from 1940 through 1944. At one point, they did not allow any opponents to score for over three years. In 1950, the Nathaniel E. Jackson Gymnasium was erected. The building was named for Coach Jackson, a longtime teacher, coach, and principal at Euclid. It is the only remaining building from the original campus. In 1962, Southwestern Junior Senior High School opened, and the high school students from Euclid went there. The community took such pride in the new school that in 1969, as plans were being made for desegregation, the black community fought to have Southwestern as the integrated high school. The school board responded by saying that the current DeLand High School campus on Hill Avenue had more technology and resources and voted to use that campus. Their decision only underlined the inequality in education up to that point. In the fall of 1969, Volusia schools were finally integrated. Southwestern became a seventh grade center. 8th and 9th grades attended DeLand Junior High at the old DeLand High School campus at the corner of Clara and Rich Avenue. Grades 10, 11, and 12 all went to the current campus at the corner of Hill and Plymouth Avenues, which was built only eight years earlier as an all-white high school. Today, all students can count our diversity as a strength, making all of us stronger together.